American Airlines Group, Inc. is an American publicly traded airline holding company headquartered in Fort Worth, Texas. It was formed December 9, 2013, in the merger of AMA Corporation, the parent company of American Airlines, and U.S. Airways Group, the parent company of U.S. Airways. The airline groups together form the largest airline in the world, with more than 6,700 daily flights to 336 locations in 56 countries worldwide, about $40 billion in operating revenue, over 100,000 employees, and plans to take delivery of 607 new aircraft, including 517 narrowbody aircraft and 90 widebody international aircraft. The integration of American Airlines and U.S. Airways was completed when the Federal Aviation Administration granted a single operating certificate for both carriers on April 8, 2015. Merger between AMA Corporation and U.S. Airways Group, in January 2012, U.S. Airways Group, the parent company of U.S. Airways, expressed interest in taking over AMA Corporation, the parent company of American Airlines. In March, AMR CEO Tom Horton said that the company was open to a merger. U.S. Airways told some American Airlines creditors that merging the two carriers could yield more than $1.5 billion a year in added revenue and cost savings. On April 20, American Airlines three unions said they supported a proposed merger between the two airlines. Under Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, American Airlines had been looking to merge with another airline. Earlier in July, a bankruptcy court filing stated that U.S. Airways was an American Airlines creditor and prospective merger partner. On August 31, U.S. Airways CEO Doug Parker announced that American Airlines and U.S. Airways had signed a non-disclosure agreement, in which they would discuss the possibility of a merger. In February 2013, American Airlines and U.S. Airways announced plans to merge, creating, by some measurements, the largest airline in the world. In the deal, which was expected to close in the third quarter of 2013, stakeholders of AMR would own 72% of the company and U.S. Airways shareholders would own the remaining 28%. The combined airline will carry the American Airlines name and branding. The holding company will be renamed American Airlines Group Incorporated. The U.S. Airways management team, including CEO Doug Parker, will retain most operational management positions. The headquarters for the new airline will also be consolidated at American's current headquarters in Fort Worth, Texas. U.S. Airways will exit Star Alliance upon completion of the merger, and American will retain its own world alliance. Judge Sean Lane approved the merger on March 27, 2013, but declined to approve a proposed $20 million severance package to AA executive Thomas W. Horton. On July 12, U.S. Airways shareholders approved the proposed merger. On August 13, 2013, the United States Department of Justice along with attorneys general from the District of Columbia, Arizona, Florida, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, Texas, and Virginia filed a lawsuit seeking to block the merger, arguing that it would mean less competition and higher prices. American Airlines and U.S. Airways both said that they would fight against the lawsuit and defend their merger. In early October 2013, the Attorney General of Texas quit the antitrust lawsuit. The Department of Justice reached a settlement of its lawsuit on November 12, 2013. The settlement will require the merged airline to give up landing slots or gates in seven major airports. Under the deal, the new American is required to sell 104 slots at Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport and 34 slots at LaGuardia Airport. An additional requirement is that American sell two gates at O'Hare International Airport, Los Angeles International Airport, Logan International Airport, Dallas Love Field and Miami International Airport. Some of the slots will be sold to low-cost carriers such as JetBlue and Southwest Airlines. A private antitrust suit filed by a group of 40 passengers and travel agents, also sought to block the merger. American's bankruptcy court judge refused to enjoin the two airlines from merging, saying that the group did not demonstrate that the merger would irreparably harm them.
the plaintiff's lawyer appealed and was turned down at the U.S. District Court level and was further rebuffed at the Supreme Court after Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg denied a stay request filed by him. Following the Department of Justice approval, the merged company traded on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange under the symbol AAL. On July 13, 2015, American announced that it planned to discontinue the U.S. Airways brand name on October 17, 2015. On October 16, U.S. Airways flew its final flight, U.S. Airways Flight 1939, which was a flight from Philadelphia Charlotte Phoenix San Francisco Philadelphia. Hub Network, the merged airline operates the following hubs. References